Dear ones, I am Archangel Michael. We start a new week. As I had said at the beginning of the seventh procedure, that I would think about the deadline, I already did. I understand that many of you have an easier time doing what was asked, but many do not. So I need to make some clarifications. Whoever is entering now cannot do the seventh procedure without doing the others first, you have to make the bottle, you have to make a list in your notebook, you have to say prayers in three days, you have to do the sixth procedure in seven days, and then start the seventh. There's no point in wanting to start the seventh before the others. Whoever started it, I would advise to stop, why? Let me explain. Ah, but I'm cleaning everything up, I'm letting go. Okay, but there is a sequel. Realize the following, by doing all the procedures I mentioned now, you reach such a point, a stage of energy, that when you do the seventh procedure, you will be effectively energizing everything you are doing. There is not just detachment there, there is an emanation of energy at each point you are touching. That's what I get tired of saying, my brothers, you don't know what's behind what I say here, these are not words thrown to the wind, these are not procedures thrown to the wind. It's not a simple procedure of cleaning drawers and wiping with rosemary. There is an energy there, which already emanates from each one of you who has reached the sixth procedure. So there's no point in you doing the seventh, because you won't be putting anything there because you're not ready, they are not prepared. So, do not start the seventh procedure of detachment, before doing everything else, and so it will be for all those who enter from now on. Even though we are in the thirtieth procedure, we will have to start from where you started, where who is starting from now, which is from the bottle, the notebook, and the sixth procedure. There's no point, you'll have to follow the entire path. It is very easy for those who are entering, to take the tram and continue on their way out. Wait, everyone is being modified, everyone is transforming, so you get halfway through and think everything is fine and continue the same way. Then he says, ah, but I don't see anything you're talking about. Of course, he didn't do the procedures properly. So come on, this list of procedures will grow more and more and you will start to mix one procedure with another, because as I said, now you will move. You have already done your spiritual treatment, now it's time to move. Now you will move, you will get your hands dirty, as you like to say. They will get up and do something. It's no longer about standing still, just sitting, praying. That's over. The procedures will now be on another level. In other ways, one will get tangled up in the other. No problem, you can even do several at the same time. From the seventh procedure onwards, you will do several at the same time, no problem, as long as you have done the bottle, the prayers, the notebook, and the sixth procedure. If you did that, the rest will fall into disarray, because no one will be able to finish at the same time, no one will be able to finish in the same time as the other. Each one will finish in a certain amount of time. Then the procedures will get tangled up. No problem. So those 21 days that I had scheduled, I am revoking. There is no longer a deadline. You will do it as long as you can. Rest assured, because many are terrified that they won't be able to comply, and I understand that they won't be able to comply, because they are very busy people who don't have time the little time they have, it's not possible to do it in that time. So I'm revoking the term limit. But understand, very soon we will start the 8th, and everything will start to get tangled up. No problem. Don't worry, you'll be able to handle everything, because one won't mix with the other. They are different actions, they are different attitudes. So everyone will be able to do the same thing. Right? Starting today's video, let's go to the prayer of the week, my Archangel Michael. May my heart, my mind, be ready for all the truths that will come. May I have the ability to emanate love, light, 
affection, understanding, to all those who will be around me, and who will need a friendly word, advice, teaching. May I be able, my Archangel, as little as I am, to do my part, to fulfill my mission, which is to help my brothers who will need my help. But at the same time, my Archangel, I recognize that I am not small, I am very big, because I exude love, and I exude a lot of light, and this makes me great, makes me strong, makes me ready to take on my role and fulfill my mission. Ready. This is the prayer of the week. My brothers, I have told you a lot about truths, about everything that will come ahead. I have noticed that your hearts are still very tight in relation to your planet. You have been praying, you have asked, and that is fantastic. I just tell you, we are working. Nothing that is happening is being ignored. You don't know what's going on behind the scenes. The actions we are taking, due to the things that are being caused on your planet. That's what I told you a few days ago, events precipitated an attitude on our part. We were patient, we were, in a way, condescending to do everything very lovingly, very slowly, so that things would be gentle, but we realized that by doing so, we gave the impression that we were weak, that we were unaware. Many are mistaken about this, and now we are going to show that they are not. That we were neither inattentive nor weak, quite the opposite, because every day more brothers of light arrive on this planet to participate in this entire process. So that energy peak, which we needed, for the truths to appear, is very close. Those who think they are gaining ground are mistaken, who are winning, that are making us retreat, quite the contrary, what they did was make us advance much faster. So all they have to do is wait for our response, and you are ready. That's what I said, you have been prepared for some time, and very soon you will have to act effectively in this movement. So my brothers, let's fight. Don't be afraid, no one will get hurt, no one will be harmed, quite the opposite, because helping a brother in need is one of the greatest strengths you can do, it is showing a love for those who need it, and that is what you need to do and that's what your master Sananda always taught, love your neighbor. And then you will be demonstrating this love, this affection. They will be teaching everything you learned. So don't be afraid. You will be able to. You are strong and you are capable. Then my brothers, things will start to take a different turn. Unfortunately, we tried to do things in a soft way, but we were misinterpreted as failures. So, the dark forces have risen up, thinking they are gaining ground. They will see who is gaining ground. Unfortunately, we didn't want it to be that way. We wanted things to really happen smoothly, smoothly, with as little aggression as possible. It didn't work, because many of you started vibrating the same way they did. Even when awake, this is the problem. Many awakened people are allowing themselves to be contaminated by their energy, and that is what we cannot let happen. They found the way to reach the awakened. Then it was over for them. The battle began. Be ready. I already taught you how to protect yourself from attacks, and I wasn't kidding. They are desperate, doing anything to get to you. So be ready. I already gave them the gun. Call me immediately. No need for prayer, my name is enough. Call me. And immediately, I will protect you and those around you, even if you are not awake. This is our deal. So don't be afraid. I won't deny you. You are being targeted by attacks, and many more will be. But I'm telling you, you have weapons in your hands. So defend yourself. I have already warned them, I already gave them the gun. Now defend yourselves. Let it be very clear that no one is being attacked by them because they are in this group. It's not that. Everyone is being attacked, everyone on the planet is being attacked. Because it is the last way they have found to try to destroy you, and that's what they're trying to do. But you, here in this group, 
have me, and all those, even if they are not in this group, if they call me, I will be by their side. Because many believe in me, even though I'm not here on this channel and in this group. I have many followers and whoever calls me will be heard. Not just me. Whoever calls, whoever asks for help from above, from beings of light, will be answered immediately, as everyone is ready. Then my brothers, the battle began. Be ready. Vibrate light. Vibrate love. Do not get caught up in low vibrations, because that is what they are causing. More and more violence, more and more fear, more and more absurdities, more and more sad things, so that you cry, have sadness, fear, and then your vibrations go away. So stay standing. Don't get carried away by these vibrations. Unite. Hold on to each other. Give strength to those who are weakest, and we will certainly win. There is no doubt about this. I could even say, we already won. Because, I see you in the fifth dimension, the entire planet, all. All of you, together with Gaia, in the fifth dimension. All of you who are resonating with this dimension, I'll see you there. So don't be afraid. This is just a storm, a strong storm that will rock you, it will sometimes even lift you off the ground, but it won't fall. You will stand firm, you may be moved, but you will not fall, you will remain standing, because you have love and you have light in your hearts. So I'm going to change the sentence. The phrase is not let's win, the phrase will be, we already won. We are victorious. We are winners. Love and light won. Truth and peace won. Friendship and harmony won. The universe is in balance. Everything is in balance. Planet Earth and all who were ready, ascended. This will be the big news that will echo throughout the universe. I am Archangel Michael. I don't need to say that I'm always here, because I am. Just call me. If you don't have a voice, call me in your thoughts, connect with me, and I will be by your side immediately. And we are victorious.